name is Darren Seafried. I'm with Motorola Mobility. I'm the Director of Sales for Canada. Um, talking to you specifically about a new device that will be launching. It will be in market in Canada uh, in and around the first or second week of August. This is called the Defy Pro. Now what's unique about this device outside of the fact that it's got a QWERTY keyboard, which uh, you know there's a lot of consumers that drive to that passion, this is an entry level device from a cost perspective. It will be like a zero dollars on a, on a, on a three year plan. But additionally, this is actually a rugged device. The device is fully submersible. It can be actually submerged in water. It's uh, dust and, and drop proof, so it's been built to design to for the active lifestyle. So the consumers who actually use the device out, outdoors or in an enterprise kind of scenario, or even just active lifestyle who run or jog, things like that, the device is designed to be built and used with you. Additionally, you've got such a great battery performance in this device. Because we have the 2.7 inch screen and the QWERTY keyboard, we actually still have in this device the equivalent battery that you'd have in a large 4, four plus inch screen uh, phone. Therefore, we're getting about 12 plus hours of talk time and about 13 days of standby time. Again, it's a great device for that component, knowing that if you're outdoor, if you're camping over the weekend, you have the ability of a device that can drive through that whole time frame. If you look at the device from a software perspective, it's running Android Gingerbread, mm -hmm. but Motorola has done our own things to actually make sure it's very unique and works very well. And some of the cool things we have on here, one is what's called the activity graph. Mm -hmm. And what the activity graph does is, is we're trying to make the phone very user friendly. And the idea is that the device will start to learn what you're doing and what you frequently do with the device and bring those to the front screen for you so you have easy access to applications that you use on a regular basis. The other side of what we got is it's got a social graph and it works in the same manner. And that is that contacts that you actually frequently uh, uh, interact with can come to the front of this screen so you have quick and easy access to people that you constantly are doing uh, communicating with. Additionally, it can self-populate or you can actually manage it itself and say, I want to have these people at the front of the, end of the screen. Okay. So some cool little features there. Now, one of the really cool device things as we talk about the active lifestyle is we integrated our own little app in here that uses a lot of the uh, functionality of an individual who are, say, active outside, hiking, walking, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And you have an application here that allows you to track your exercise activities. So you can track where you are. You can have the compass tell you where you want to go, how you want to go, so you don't get lost. Then additionally, what you can do is you can actually go through here and can tra track yourself with your maps and locations so you know exactly where you are, track your, your, your process. And really cool, again, think about camping, uh, your, your music app built right into the device. But when you think about people who go camping or go hiking, it's always important to have that information for, for uh, safety about where you are. So this gives you an easy way to look at the context of where you are from a GPS location. Mm -hmm. well, again, what we found is that a lot of consumers today, um, I, there, there's a lot of anxiety about when you buy a device and you break a device. And this happens. It's, you, know, you have children. We have, I have two kids. My kids always play with my phones and then they drop my phones. And I'm concerned they're that. Uh, there's also the uh, situation that there's a lot of people that don't like the full touchscreen solutions. They actually like to have the QWERTY keyboard. It's easier to communicate and much more uh, uh, precise text in general cases. Mm -hmm. So when we build a device, we built it with that mindset. There's a consumer market that really does drives for that, but the ruggedness of it, which is what was really important. Mm -hmm. So when you take this device for an example is, you can't just call a device rugged, you have to actually build it from the engineering mm -hmm. from the ground up. Things like the back door being a lock mechanism and then coming off, you actually have right here uh, a rubber seal that actually goes around the whole compartment mm -hmm. to actually keep all the moisture and dust out. You know, you can't just put the door on, you actually have to slap the door on and you have to push in tight and drop it in. And that allows that sealing component. So we've looked at that from not just a consumer perspective, but also, you know, if you're a company and you have a fleet of individuals using your devices, if, if you know, the concept is that, you know, not everybody's going to treat the device like it's their own because it's been handed to them by the company. You want to have something robust that's going to spend the, the text of time. Yeah. And that's kind of the idea behind it. Rough device will work well from an enterprise perspective because it's using Android and uh, Gingerbread. It does all your email solutions. Mm -hmm. But also from a high uh, usage from a consumer perspective, people with young families, people who are active, mountain bikers. You, you're going mountain biking on a bush and your phone falls off. It could be that's it. Yeah. This one here will survive that scenario for you. So again, it just depends on the consumer base, but there's a wide selection of people looking for various devices. Okay. And is this exclusive to any carrier? This will be exclusive to Rogers okay. uh, in Canada. The Rogers, at least today. Yeah. Uh, and again, they've indicated that it'll be you know zero dollars on a, on, a, on a full term data pro uh, contract, but it's a great device for the, for the price.
Or the actual and it's an HSPA it's an HSPA device, device. Um, right. it is HSPA, HSPA for North America so, so full data compared to the HSPA in North America and then it's a global roaming for voice and text the wall okay. which I think is very right. cool and it's going to reflect more or less what Yo, oh, it is. It looks it, that's what it does. It changes. I can change it to uh, where I live in Bolton right now, and mm -hmm. it's actually raining. Okay. And you'll see that it shows the rain. Um, the other one on here, too, is so we talk about the social graph. Um, the photograph, this is the same idea. It just basically takes all the most current photos in your device, the ones mostly frequently used or looked at, and it brings them to the front. And then you can actually scroll through them. Uh, you can actually do like a little play, and you can actually go through and actually have you click on what you want. Here. Click on them all, hit done, and what it'll do is you'll see it'll populate on the main screen all your photos. Sure. Right? It's, it's minor, mm -hmm. but the idea behind the software and this device is that consumers um, who are new to Android or new to these new OSs, mm -hmm. you know, may be somewhat intimidated coming from a text type, type of phone. Right. Trying to make all those experiences and not the ability to use those devices come to the front, and that's kind of what we're doing. Okay.